What's up, y'all? This your girl, Go Ball, coming at y'all to show y'all my hair. Um, it's Thursday night. I couldn't sleep. Well, I'm sleepy, but I just couldn't sleep. So, y'all, excuse me. I have a pimple right here that just I don't want to act right tonight. But anyway, I'm going to show y'all my hair. I still have hair, but it is shedding badly. Um, I just got done combing out this side. And I use a wide tooth comb like this. And so I ordered a comb online called a Hercules comb. Supposedly it got wider teeth than this. You know, than this. So hopefully I can work with it. Anyways, I was coming to show y'all my hair and thickness. And just from combing this, this one side out, I got this much hair this time. Um... That's not too bad, but it's still a lot of shedding just for combing this one side out. And the top of my hair is where I lost the most hair at. Um, it's like almost... Let me see if I can back up so I'm going to show you all the top of my head. Um, it's real thin up there. I don't know if you can tell right now. But that's like real thin in the top. I'm um, where I lost the most hair at. <laughs> so I'm getting ready to. I'm not sure whether I should braid my hair up and um, leave it alone because I'm scared if I braid it up that it's going to share more when I take it out, but I'm not sure. I got this mixture of. I just ordered some. Um, what you call emu oil. Somebody said that they help their hair thicken up. Um, when I was looking at the reviews on Amazon, and I, I ordered some more Jamaican black castor oil. I got this Jamaican black castor oil, the OK brand, and um, I mixed this with some wild growth. And uh, I got my wild growth here still. Y'all know I'm still doing my hair thing, and so as long as I, <laughs> sorry y'all, as long as I have hair on my head, I'm still gonna be treating it with the wild growth. Um, I do have some virgin hair fertilizer, but I didn't bring that with me. Um, I might have brought it with me, but I don't know. I just didn't want to use it. I don't feel like smelling that smell right now. But my length is, I guess it's still there a little bit, but it doesn't look like it shortened up to me a little bit. Just this little piece in the front. Um, anyways, I'm going to probably braid this side up. I don't know what I should do with my hair, y'all. I really don't know if I should braid it up or just keep, I don't want to keep combing in it and having to take it loose because I like treating it with the wild growth oil. Like right now, I'm probably going to put some black castor oil in my scalp yesterday. I think I'm just going to run down the middle of it right now and just put some more in here through the middle. Of this like the worst part and I don't want to wash my hair for a while because every time I wash it I lose a whole lot when I do the, like detangling and stuff so I don't want to wash my hair I washed it last weekend and last weekend was not a good weekend for me as far as my hair was concerned I was kind of depressed because I thought it was this one did a mess and I told my husband I was going to cut it all the way off and he said no because I still had a lot of hair left on my head that I could work with. So I'm going to try to work with, you know, what I can. And, um, you know, I ain't necessarily trying to save my hair. But while I got enough on my scalp, um, I'm going to try to, you know, work with it. I'm going to try to work with what I got. So I got, if I put in a ponytail over here, I got this much. You know, but I'm just coming to talk to y'all, you know. I can't sleep. I can't sleep because I slept all day. I was so tired. Y'all, in my last video I posted, I told y'all I was going to crash, and I crashed. I did exactly that because the, the chemo had me so tired. The chemo had me so tired that I'm, like, tired and hyped up at the same time from the chemo and the, um, from the chemo and the steroids at the same time. So my body is kind of like, like I took a Red Bull 
but I'm sleepy too at the same time, so I don't know. I don't know, I guess. I know it took a real bull, but I'm gonna put my hands on plaques or something. You know, just something to reduce. And it's gonna be some real thin ones too. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my hair, y'all. But I'm gonna do something to my hair, and I'm gonna come back to y'all um, in a second. Once I get done with my hair, because I don't know what I'm going to do to it, but I'll come back and show y'all, okay? I just wanted to tell you guys, um, we'll share with you guys that I'm up, <laughs> and I just feel like talking to y'all and showing y'all my hair, since y'all have not seen my hair. It looked the same way on the other side, too. I just got that in a ponytail to get it out of the way, but, um, I'll be back when I do something, when I figure it out, okay? Okay, y'all, so I braided this side, or well, I plaited this side. See how thin it is? And now I'm gonna be on this side. I don't know what it looks like. I just did it. And I'm gonna probably tuck it up under a wig or something. I don't know. But here's this side. I got this much hair out of that side right there. Just by combing that much. And these are actually shaded strands, not breakage. Not this is not breakage, this is shaded strands. It's coming straight from my scalp. Um at first when it my hair originally started falling out, I was blaming it on depression. But I'm not depressed no more, so I, it might be hormonal like somebody had said and or it got something to do with the council altogether. Um because my hair never I never ever ever had that problem with my hair ever. So I just, hey, we, we just gonna take this one day at a time, that's all. You know, at first now, I gotta admit, I was very sad when my hair started doing that. Any female who, any female who hair has done, you know, had successful hair um, journey and stuff like that, and all of a sudden they have a setback, it's gonna be upsetting because I'm a girl, you know? I'm supposed to have hair. Well, I don't necessarily supposed to have hair, but I'm a girl that wanna have hair. So, um, it kind of hurts when I went through all that trouble to grow it, and then it come to a, come to a stop in my life. See how much hair coming out this comb, y'all? It's coming straight from the roots, the roots of my hair. Um, at, at first, you know, it used to depress me <laughs> to see my hair coming out, but now it's just like, I just roll with the punches. I just roll with the punches, y'all. So, um, I try to be gentle on it, as gentle as I can, but it seems like it don't matter if I'm real gentle or not, it's still gonna shed. It's still gonna shed regardless. And my hair is starting to grow because I can feel a new growth at the same time in it, but you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of it coming out. I ain't gonna cry though, you know. You know, I'm gonna get this back on track. I think I need to do this braid over because it's like a little piece sticking up this out of me. And it's black so thin that, I don't know, y'all. I'll be back when I braid up this side, okay? Okay, y'all, so I got this piece ready. I just hate pulling the hat to comb. But I have become so used to it now that it's kind of like part of my, it's kind of like part of my hair regimen when I'm pulling all this hair out of the comb. So I can't wait till I get to the point where I don't have to pull this hair out of the comb no more. <sighs> so this is the back part of my hair. And I remember the part of my hair that would never grow if y'all been following me for a long time. This right here is the business, for real, <coughs> for real. So I'm gonna plait this side. I know a lot of y'all follow me for my hair, you know, updates and stuff. So that's why I figured I'd bring y'all a hair update, either going through what I'm going through. A hair update is a hair update where there's no hair, some hair, shaded hair, broke hair, damaged hair, whatever. It's still hair. So I got to let y'all in on what, everything that's going on with my hair. So, and just thank God I'm not bald, because I could have been bald. Um. But the side effects from my um, chemotherapy medication is um, thinning, thinning hair, shedding, thinning hair. And But the thing is, I, my hair was starting to thin and shed before I came to 
before I even started chemotherapy. So that's why I was confused on how, you know, like why was my hair, you know, coming out the way it was. But I guess that was stress at first and then now it's, it was a little bit of stress mixed with um, chemotherapy and everything else that's going on inside my body. But anyway, that's a plaid. And that's a good thick plaid in the bag. I got two thickest plaids in the bag because I did it bigger. I did these in a bigger section and I did these in a smaller parting. So I'm gonna have a bunch of thin plaids across my head, but it's all good. I'm probably gonna do all my plaids back and put them in a ponytail or something like that and have a protective style like that. So that way I won't have to keep um, combing through my hair, you know? I won't have to keep combing my hair all the time every other day. I probably comb it twice a week while it's down, uh, a loose, it's, you know, like that. So to to keep me from combing it as much, I'm going to braid it up. That's why I'm braiding it up, you know. But I'll be back when I'm finished braiding it up. See how it look all, oh, yes. I'll be back when I'm finished braiding it up, y'all. Okay, y'all, so I am done with braiding my hair, and that's what it looks like, all clean and stringy. And this is how much hair I got out of the entire head. Um, so, that's kind of a lot. That is a lot for it to be shedding straight from my scalp. That's a lot of hair. So, this is what I got. And these are the braids, or plaits, or whatever you want to call them. Turn around and see so you can see the side and the back and see all my thinning spots so I'm going to try to keep treating my hair with as much Jamaican black castor oil and wild proof as I can every couple of days and I guess y'all see the results from there. But y'all, I'll keep y'all updated on how my hair is doing and how it's falling out. <laughs> but, um, I just throw that in the trash. I don't want to keep it. I should have kept it. Let me keep it. I'm going to keep it and put it with my other hair that I got at the house. So I probably have a, at the end, I probably have a big ball of hair. But anyways, y'all, I was just going to show y'all what I did to my hair. So I'm probably going to just put this in a ponytail. Ponytail it up and protect my ends. You know, tuck my ends in so that way it'll be a protector style. You know, I can't leave those ends out and call it a protector style because my ends will be out. So I put it in my little bun. Put it in a little bun and I ain't got to really worry about the ends. I guess it's a bun. I do it better in a little bit, but right now, that's how it's going to be. Okay. Okay, y'all. Y'all, thanks for watching. That's all I got to say in this video. And I will holler at y'all later. Bye.